the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a Moodrex automated crypto trading bot on Binance Futures trading ETH USDT utilizing an RSI crossing up strategy that appears to be when back tested to absolutely crush the market. You see market returns versus the actual bot returns. But before we get started, if you're not familiar with Mudrex, it is a trading platform that allows you to create your own trading bot based on your strategies. And you can even get started for free. That's right, zero dollars. And your free account will include unlimited trading bots, uh, but you will have some limitations as far as back testing goes. Uh, the tick resolution will be 15 minutes versus one minute and you will pay a higher fee. Now, the $16 premium account is definitely well worth that ask. As you will get unlimited back tests, like I mentioned before, the minimum tick resolution will be one minute and you'll pay half the fees that you would on the free account. So that savings alone could easily justify that $16 monthly fee. And so with that all being said, I will leave a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, you'll get $25 free when you sign up. So that $25 could pay for your first month and leave you a little extra change on the side. Now let's get to configuring this bot. So once you've signed up through that link down in the description below, you will go to your dashboard and you wanna click on the strategies tab. And from the strategies dashboard, you'll be building a new strategy. So you just simply click on new strategy. And you have two choices, the visual editor, or the external signals. The external signals, I've done videos in the past. You can look through my playlist and see like having trading views, sending signals to buy using your bot. In this case, we're actually going to build our own strategy using the visual editor. So I select the visual editor and now from the strategy builder, I can basically click and drag boxes over to build my new strategy. But the first thing I need to do is name my strategy and I'm gonna name it RSI Cross and I'm going to incorporate a EMA, a moving average as well. So that'll be the name of my strategy. And so the first thing I need to do is bring over this indicator box and drop it and then connect it to the buy button. Now I need to configure my indicator. In this case, it's gonna be RSI and the period I will be working with will be nine. And I want it to compare RSI to cross up over the 40 value. So if I jump over to a chart to give you a visual of what I'm looking for, if you look down here, you can see the RSI getting oversold and then moving back up. And I'll blow this up to full screen. So the RSI, we have a sell off and we come down into the 25 region and start to move up, have another pullback, eventually crossing the 40 level. And that's what I'm looking for is this cross of the 40 level. As you can see, once we cross that 40 level, it tends to stay above it for quite a while. Again, even when it sells off here, it comes back above, touches and stays above. So what I'm looking for is a cross above the 40 level. And so after this sell off where we dip down below the 40 level and finally work our way back above the 40 level, you can see this big run up on ETH on Binance. And that should give you a visual idea of what this actual setting will do on the nine period RSI crossing above the 40 level. And then the advanced parameters I'm going to be using is the moving average type is going to be the exponential moving average or EMA. Click OK. Now that I have my RSI block set up, I want to add a compare block. I will be using this compare block to confirm that the price action is moving in the direction that I'm looking for. So the first indicator I'm going to use is price. And then the second indicator will be EMA. And so in this situation, I'm looking for the close price to be greater than the EMA. And for the EMA parameters, I want this period to be a nine. And then on the advanced, we don't change anything here as we're already set. 
and I click OK, now my EMA box is ready to go. And since I want both of these boxes to be required to actually execute a buy, I need to add the AND option. I can disengage this box by basically right clicking and move the AND option into place and then connect both of my boxes to the AND. Now, in order to place a buy order, the bot will, will require both the RSI settings that I put in my indicator box and the compare box of price versus EMA. So with my buy side set up and ready to go, I need to do my sell side. And I'm gonna do that based on RSI as well. So I grab the indicator box, connect it directly to the sell button, and I need to set up my indicator block and I'm looking for the RSI and in this case RSI period is going to be 14 so that is different than on the buy side what I'm comparing is the RSI to be crossing up over the value of 90 and again if we jump back to the charts and so what that would look like is our price action has been moving up it is starting to get overbought and we could see this price action roll over, which we kind of do, but we're actually just moving sideways at this point in time. And in this particular case, the highest the RSI ever got was around 88. So I didn't, wouldn't have actually got stopped out of this position. And so the idea is I don't want to sell out too early on any little pullback. I want to give my position an opportunity to run. So let's go ahead and finish up this strategy. So we're on the 15 period RSI crossing above 90 so we're definitely getting oversold if we go above that 90 value and then on the advanced parameters my moving average is going to be EMA as well and now I have the bot ready to buy and sell based on my strategy of RSI cross and then so the next option could be to add a stop loss to take some risk off the table so you could do it as a percentage and say you want to do like four percent however based on my strategy and the back testing I've done of this strategy, I don't want to actually have a stop loss in place as my strategy works best, letting the indicators be my buy and sell. Same thing with take profit. I could take profit as a percentage, say 20%, but again, my indicators do all that work. So I do not set up a take profit or a stop loss. So now with everything set, I just click the save button. And it tells me I already have a strategy saved with this name. So we'll change this up. We'll call it EMA RSI cross and click save. And now we finally saved it correctly. And now the last thing to do before we deploy it is to actually back test it. And I'm going to deploy this bot on Binance Futures. And now's a good time to make it clear that you're deploying it on your Binance Futures account with Binance Exchange. So you need to have a Binance account approved to trade futures and you're connecting via the API key through Binance. Your funds are never going to Mudrex. They're basically sending orders through the API key to Binance. Your money is actually secure as it can be on Binance. But with that being said, I've had video conference calls with the guys at Mudrex. They're legit. And I've been using them for a while as evidenced by the videos in my playlist. So again, we're choosing Binance Futures as the exchange. So you need to connect that API key to Mudrex. The quote currency we're using is going to be USDT. And then we're going to be trading ETH. ETH. And the tick or the candle size or the time frame is going to be one hour. And we're going long only. And we hit start back test. And you can see down here the back test is up and running. And the back test may take a while, especially if you go to smaller candle sizes. So a five minute candle size will take longer than the one hour. And we can see the results are about an 8.64% return. But I'm going to jump to a smaller candle size and I'm going to go for 15 minute and start my back test again. And you can see this is probably going to take a little longer. 
And we've seen a decent improvement from about 8.5% to 11%. Our losing making months dropped 7%. So that's a pretty decent improvement by just changing the candle size. So now I'm going to click on this actions box and actually look at a more detailed breakout of the back test. So the initial back test was again on my EMA RSI crossing strategy on Binance Futures trading ETH USDT. And it back tests from November 2019, so last year to today, December 15th, 2020. And I'm actually not looking for that long of a time frame with a strategy. My strategies are usually best served in a three month window because markets are constantly changing. So I like to look at a smaller window with my back tests. So I click on this three month here. And now you'll see it's from September 15th to December 15th of 2020. And I click the recalculate. And now we can see the monthly average has improved to 16% from 11%, which is exactly what I would expect based on today's market conditions. And probably the best thing to note is we actually are beating the market with our returns. Our returns would have been 71% where the market would have only returned 55%. And what that basically means, had you just held for that three month period, you just still had a 55% return on your ETH. But by utilizing the strategy on the Mudrex platform, I end up with a 71%, almost a 20% bump in returns. And it's imperative to point out during that three month period, there are only seven trades. So if you're an action junkie, this strategy, this bot is not going to be for you. I get a lot of questions from some of you who are just strictly copying my strategies and then not doing any of your recon and then not understanding why, like in this situation, I can tell you now I'm going to get questions of, I deployed my bot and it's not done anything for a week. Well, it may not. Seven trades over three months is, if you do the math, is about two trades a month. And if you're looking for a lot more action than that, this bot isn't going to be for you. But if you're really focusing on what you should be focusing on is profit and not over trading, then this could be a decent strategy given current market conditions. Now, if we go a little further into the numbers, what I like about Moodrex is they actually know what a sharp ratio is and most traders I talk to have no clue. It is basically a risk kind of versus reward ratio and anything over one is typically considered acceptable. I look for numbers over two. In this case, we're almost pushing four. Profit factor, kind of the same thing. It's measuring risk and reward. And again, anything over one is considered acceptable. I consider something over two acceptable. In this case, we're greater than 10, so it's doing fantastic. And if we click on more, you can see my average exposure time is over a week. So again, it's not in and out. It is a longer term strategy. And if we come over to average loss and average profit, I can really get a good feel for risk versus reward and I'll take this risk versus reward all day every day and now if we scroll down you can see a chart based on my strategy is the solid line the market is the dotted line and you can see how we kind of outperform the market over the three month period and we'll continue to scroll down to look at those seven trades and you can see small losses and this trade is not actually booked as a loss as the position is still actually open, but we see these big wins and small losses. And that is the bottom line that I'm looking for personally with my bots. I want smaller risk, bigger reward. And that's exactly what it's giving me. Now, with that all being said, the reality is we're trading Binance futures. And the reason you're probably trading Binance futures is you want to take advantage of the leverage available. So in that case, let's put on some actual leverage and let's recalculate our numbers. And we can see they jump considerably. This has gone from 16% to almost 60%. We've gone from 70% to almost 300%. Now our performance score drops because we put on a little more risk. 
I still have those seven trades. Sharp ratio has ticked up, obviously, because our profit has ticked up. Profit factor, again, is greater than 10. And our average loss went up, but so did our average profit. So our risk versus reward is still in line. And again, I can't stress enough, these overall returns are absolutely crushing the market had you just held. Now, instead of 55% for holding, if you actually deployed this bot during that three month period, you would have around a 300% return by using leverage. But I can't stress enough, using leverage is extremely risky and you could lose everything instantly. And this could be a complete reversal of fortune in a moment because you've used leverage to trade with. And so with that being said, let's say we want to put on a little more leverage. Let's see what 5X would do. And numbers just continue to go up. We went from around 60 to 115%. Our performance score stayed the same. However, our maximum drawdown, obviously more risk. That's going to go down. Sharp ratio ticked up. Profit factor ticked down, but again, more risk and those numbers are going to change. Still have seven total trades. That's not actually going to change using leverage. Unless you were to get liquidated on the third trade, then you will never make it to seven. Overall returns during the three month period, almost 700% versus 55%. You can see our average loss went up and so did our average profit. However, in this case, the average loss looks like it increased a little more than the average profit and probably why our profit factor went down slightly. And now if we scroll down and look at those seven trades, you can see these losses are bigger losses, but our wins are substantially bigger wins. And this one is still an open position. So if we do get ETH to push up out of that consolidation we were looking at earlier on the charts, this could turn into a substantially bigger win. Of course, if in that consolidation it decides to sell off, this could turn into a bigger loss. So there's a lot more risk by adding leverage to this strategy. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. I will do an update video in the future on how this strategy is performing under live fire. So now is a good time to shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you like these type of videos, do me a favor, spike that like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.